on this channel we only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. Up Chelsea for life. Up Chelsea for life. Yes. Good morning to my fellow Chelsea fans and also happy Sunday. Today is another day for us. Either we win them or we forget about Europe. He grab and also some people go ask why I talk say either we win them or we forget about Europe because today now another chance for us to tighten that knot more. You understand? Because as it stands now, we know the ten position. We be ninth position. Ninth with forty three points. Now just go different from Brighton. Brighton day forty three too. So if Chelsea win Sheffield today, Sheffield today we go day forty six. And I know some people could ask me which time will the match go kick off. Well, this match will kick off by five p.m. Depending on your own area, but for Nigeria, yeah, now by five p.m. Then they will play that game. And also maybe for Stanford Bridge now for Sheffield Grand because the last time when we played them now for Stanford Bridge and we been beat them 2-0. You understand? And also before I forget this video where we they do so is being sponsored by Bet Winner. You can check the link at the comment section or on YouTube on the description panel to register because at the end of this video I'm going to be dropping just one tip. Just one tip. Just make sure say you do that one. Where I tell you, and make sure say you do it via the platform. You understand? Bet winner. Let's move forward. Yes, um, Chelsea versus Sheffield. You know, say initially when we want to play Burnley, I've been telling us say we've been win Burnley for their home four one, and Burnley been they come Stamford Bridge. And I said something about Chelsea coming back from international break. Say you need know, the always the friendly. You know, they always good for us. And after that game, the game ended 2-2. And Chelsea fans at large, we are very, very disappointed with the, with the players and also with the coach, with everything that was going on because they were expecting them to win that game, to secure that three points. But it no happened. Then coming in the month of April, the first game, which was Manchester United, it was already concluded. Some of us, including myself, but the lesson that was just keeping me alive within the side of Chelsea was just hope. I was just having that hope and belief. And thank God my hope was not let down like that because the boys did the needful. Even at that slightest second, they converted their chance. You understand? They won Manchester United 4-3 and that, we like to say one of that, that's one of our biggest wins for this season or one of our best for this season if i'm not mistaken you understand but it was a good one for us for us to open the month of april with that kind of defeat it was a good one for us a painful one because they never saw it coming they're not they don't give best uh, uh player of the match in how many minutes palm and i call letter you understand so this game i don't expect less from them but one thing with Chelsea, now this kind of game will be say the moment he started, they put your high hope on them, say they will do something, they will dash them to the field or they will dash them to the mud. Now, the problem with them is that you understand. So, today they are going to play a Sheffield side that is 20th position, they are then did the bottom, and then did the bottomless side of the league table. So, I'm going to ask myself why they even come up from championship, come premiership when they know, say they no go. Tighten up the last match where they win out of the seven games, out of their previous uh, in seven, the out of the seven games is done. Plays the last match where they win in their last seven games. Now, Luton Town where they win Luton Town 3 1. The rest they draw two, lose four. Why Chelsea? Our last seven games right now, the only game we don't lose now, Liverpool and Liverpool. After Liverpool, the rest we play two draw. We come get four winning, four winning. So now vice versa. Then they get two draw. We will get two draw. Then they get four lose. We will get four win. We will get one lose. Then get one, uh, one win. You understand? So it's just left for Chelsea to do the needful. But what the funniest part with all this kind of thing is that we feel the hype now. Say Chelsea go suppose go do the needful against Sheffield and them. Um, Still that three point making it 46 points. 
They go shout you now. Today go come. They will go play draw with Sheffield. So go play draw with Sheffield. I'm just being realistic with you guys. That's what they do. If you they expect one thing from them, they will go let themselves down. So they have to take it upon themselves. That is their responsibility. If they want to go to this Europe, it's up to them. Now the space has come, the opportunity has come. How many points below Manchester United? Two points. We are two points below Manchester United at our sixth position. We are ninth position. We are just two points below them. We are one point below uh, 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 these people, uh, uh, Newcastle, uh, uh, and two points below West Ham and Manchester United. So it's left for us to win this game today. The moment you win this game today, church close. Church don't close. We still get a standing game to play, a standing match to play. After uh, Sheffield, we are supposed to play Brighton, but they don't sh and postpone that one. Now after Sheffield, now our next match now against Everton. So all my hope and now for me to say okay, there is still hope for us is for us to win today. If we cannot win Sheffield today. I don't know. I don't know what's not go top because FA Cup. I am not putting my hundred percent hope on it. We could just believe, say they go try their best, but going to Europe, they their hand. They those players sand. They those players sand. They should sit up. See Manchester United game, our previous game. If you check that game very well, they're just errors. Errors, careless errors, unnecessary, unnecessary errors, lack of uh, communication within themselves for that back line. For that back line, let me see them consider those kind of goals. They lack that communication. You understand? So it's left for them to sit tight and do their best and make sure that they, they, they hold Sheffields down today. Because normally they're supposed to win Sheffield, even in our poorest states. We supposed to do the need for against Sheffield. Suppose we Sheffield. Understand? Sheffield not be something we we supposed to hit our head over. I be the one repeat what I repeat last season. We be say Southampton we the last for EPL last season. Southampton can they hold us? Hold us? Whether two two draw be waiting? I don't know. I beg. Any two chess they do today make an win. And today too, I expect one goal from Kopama. <laughs> because since since he don't become our leader for now, because as stands now, now that boy they carry Chelsea. Initially, I not be one guy that believes say Chelsea they build one uh, build. Shall they need to build the club around power? But as stands now, that boy get the right mindset and the vision. Now just few weeks see they they work along with them. Ends or to the try, but ends or like I said, ends or drop from. But in the try. Like in the last interview, the inter interview, he said he loved Chelsea, but he no like the position where they did. So since he no like the position where they did, make them work hard to come up from that place where they did. If Chelsea end this season with six or fifth, uh -huh, at least we go not say there is a big difference from last season and this season. You understand? The ones that go Europe right now, once they enter the, that thing will even motivate them to enter transfer market, buy buy better player where they want buy. You grab? So today oh, we should not take it, we should not underrate Sheffield. We should not sit we should not relax, just like what we did against Burnley. We we, we are too relaxed. We scored one goal and we we we, 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 we fall back for Burnley. Just if they win one zero, you go to fear. Just if they win two zero, you are not still secured. But if just they win three, if he they secure the little bit, because for just if he they lead two zero, the feet from there itself concede two goals. They did it against Leicester City. They did it against uh, Manchester United. They did it against Arsenal. You understand? Just if he they lead two zero, you know, never get hope. Your mind never they relax. So if they want to win Sheffield today, make them win them very well, and also make them they 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 more organized. Make them they communicate well on that pitch. Know when to position, know when to pass, know when to release ball for the defense area. Make them know themselves. And I don't know why Pochettino no one give Thiago space again. I don't know. I know it's an old man, maybe, but at least 
a guy they help too if they help for our defense line when in there they be like say all of them they organize and their head they come when they want to do something so please uh, i should be expecting to receive against Sheffield today it won't be a bad one for us because by the shield by the shield is making a lot of errors in terms of movement in terms of passes in terms of clearing in terms of positioning no 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 in errors to the obvious even i don't need this time for bring watch the match but we are the watch up at the cm see to the obvious you understand so it's just left for them to do the needful today and once they do the needful we should be having that hope before they will start the camp scores for people like man you and western where they are ahead of us and also newcastle you understand so guys talking about possible formation i should be expecting somebody like gusto um the South city a receiver and kukurela chiwe i don't know whether i go play today but moko does the watch then coming to the midfield normal you go using regular um enzo galaga and moses kasaido then going forward I, I i still like that three people for front mudrick jackson and palmer i still like that three for front i still like the three of them but if it's shocking i feel make switch but come to think of it let's do it like this now i know say this one too some people will still complain but make i take on a back to that midfield for that midfield i for like make it be enzo kasaido chukwe maker i don't know for you guys but i for like make enzo kasaido chukwe maker then mudrick palmer and jackson make it just it like that i'll get with now one thing if participants of people are like that, get it now and just see. We go see as it go be. We see the flexibility for that midfield small, because the three of them playing, in out of ten, not only two they give you accurate football. The remaining eight, na stiff midfield, na defensive. Galaga they play dif more defensive. Moses Moses Kasai they, they play more defensive. Not only ends of the try one build from back small, but just that this period, you know, they in that good form but all the same our last match i failed to give him credit for that quick pass and also that build up when being built from back before chuke maker hits that ball when he hits way go corner so kudos to him i know that some people have been saying that ah mr pizza what have i enzo sorry for that sorry for that kudos to him but even at that so he need to step up in game i know say the boy love the boy like chelsea and everything when they doing they don't want to fight for the badge you understand so today is another day let us try something different galaga feel relax why kasaido enzo and chukwe make a day for that midfield today there may be any other effects if you bring in galaga you understand so guys um you can you can still drop your thoughts over this formation or this formation if you, if you say they okay but for me i will see me i feel say that midfield for carry be that today Enzo, uh, Moses, and uh, Chukwe Mika. You grab? Then talking about uh, predictions. Um, well, <laughs> well, Chelsea. I don't know, but I feel say Chelsea versus um, Sheffield. Chelsea go win. Playing in the win. Make sure you register on best winners for this because their odds they very high. They get very good odds. Um, Chelsea to win direct win or give them win or draw the Manchester United Liverpool <laughs> well now for ultra for though when money they see Liverpool they are they are Liverpool they are always strong and their last meeting now for FA Cup where they may meet when money been come there for FA Cup um well that game I'll play it I'll play it over over 2.5 over 1.5 because game goals supposed to come out over 1.5 then 30 and Nottingham Forest Thirty or not here for a spam over 1.5 now these three games that they give you right like this now so hold on strong but as for chelsea own play chelsea win or draw because chelsea feed they lead to zero you know they sure but anyhow the three points is important then talking about scores as for chelsea i don't know i know talk scores but after 19 minutes we go no alpha thank you very much my name is peters